In fundraising, it's important not to skip or rush through any of the stages of a fundraiser. Here at Raider Manufacturing, we've identified the six stages of a fundraiser along with a few tips. Since our start in 1948, we've been working with thousands of fundraisers, so we feel that we are well equipped to give you the best advice. So let's get to it. The first step to successful fundraising is choosing a fundraiser that will highlight your team's strengths and help you accomplish your goals. Gather your team and talk about some fundraising ideas and ask questions of your team. Are they creative and outgoing? Are they good at organizing and selling? Would hosting a community event be beneficial? Or would a catalog sales fundraiser like Rada Cutlery be good for your team? Basically, take time to weigh your options and see what the community and your team would be most excited about. Once you've selected a fundraiser, you can start the planning process. First, create a detailed timeline for your fundraiser with tasks for each of your team members. Next, set due dates for reaching out to contacts or setting up a venue because it will help keep your team on task and on schedule. And finally, take time to set goals and key performance indicators, or KPIs. KPIs help you determine if you are accomplishing your goals. For example, if one of your goals is to raise money for Relay for Life in your community, the KPI could be to increase likes on your team's Facebook page. So make a timeline for your goals and KPIs and be sure to check your progress periodically throughout the fundraising process. Now that the planning is complete and the goals have been set, it's time to promote your fundraiser. Think about the best way to reach your audience. Will they see promotion online or around the community? You can try multiple forms of promotion and see what works. In our experience at Rada, it's better to delegate a team member or group specifically dedicated to promotion. This way, you can keep the messages consistent and timely. Also, be sure to start promoting a few weeks before your fundraiser so that your supporters can spread the word. Here are a few ways you can raise awareness for your fundraiser. Your fundraiser has begun, so enjoy the process and have fun. People who will be participating in your fundraiser will feed off of your enthusiasm. Remember that you can't control everything, so just relax and go with the flow. You've done great planning and goal setting, so your fundraiser is bound to be a success. In this stage, continue to promote your fundraiser and keep track of how everything is going so you can see what worked and what didn't for next time. If you're doing a catalog or order form fundraiser, the next step is ordering the products you've sold. While this step doesn't take long, it's very important that you order the correct products and the correct amount. If you provide your customers with the accurate products and amounts the first time, they'll appreciate the professionalism and want to participate in future fundraisers. So take your time with this process and compare your totals throughout. You've received the products, so now it's time for your team to meet, sort, and distribute the products to your customers. If your products are too large and your team can't handle distribution on their own, let your customers know a time and place where they can meet and pick up their products. If you haven't received a payment from all of your customers, make sure your team members receive this before they receive their products. Your fundraiser is complete. This is an exciting time, but it's not over yet. It's time to calculate your fundraiser's profits and see how close you were to meeting your goals. Next, think about what went well and what could have gone better for next time. Don't forget to send thank you cards to all of your participants and customers. While the stage is meant to be an opportunity for learning, make sure to focus on the positive aspects of your fundraiser so your team can feel excited about the next one. You could also have a party to celebrate the completion of your fundraiser or consider giving out awards to the top sellers or promoters of your team. For more information and tips, you can go to radacutlery.com slash fundraising slash ideas. We hope you found this video helpful and that you consider Rada as a fundraising option. With Rada Cutlery, your team can earn a 40% profit by selling useful, made in the USA kitchen products that your supporters will want to purchase to help your cause. To prove our customer satisfaction, be sure to check out the customer comments after this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.